at Apex Expo in Boston 2018, and I'm joined now by Steve King, who is the CEO of Black Swan. Welcome, Steve. Hi, Marianne. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good. So we had a chat last year yes, at Expo. I remember. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. Uh, what have you guys been up to since then? I know that you um, have announced uh, a partnership with Panasonic that I think would be interesting for everyone to know a bit more about. Yeah, sure. So it's been a very busy year since last year. Um, we've uh, done the strategic deal with Panasonic to be working um, on their next platform, providing some of the Black Swan data, which is conversations and opinions on the internet to help with sort of product development. Right. So you're. you're doing some social listening on the internet, but you're also trying to match that with actual usage data from the systems to try and... You've definitely do, done your homework. Do what? <laughs> so uh, so the, when you're looking at your uh, the movies and the way people are using your products in, on a plane at the moment, they're very good at understanding what's happening now. Uh, what Black Swan's trying to do is help with the prediction side of things. So we'll listen to all the conversation passengers are having about their flight experience. When we've got data from over the last seven years, that'll start trends so you can see the patterns that are trying to happen. And we can now forecast them six, nine months in advance to predict what passengers are going to want to do in six to nine months. Mm -hmm. We can map that then with what they are doing to create better products. So did you predict this whole Fortnite thing to happen? No, oh, absolutely. Everything, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So um, we're talking a lot about collecting data. Obviously, data has become a real sensitive issue lately. People want to know that their personal information is secure. You say stuff like social listening, and it sounds a little bit creepy. So you know, how do you collect that stuff? And do you have people's permission? Do you need permission to do it? Yeah, and you're right. It can be very creepy. And yeah. I think, unfortunately, some people have used it in a creepy way, which doesn't really help our job. But um, in, in reality, when Black Swan's using data, we're only really interested in groups of people, like the sociology of life, not individuals. So we're looking at trends, so how, what lots of people are doing, or segments, you know, certain types of people are doing. We're never, ever interested in what an individual is doing, because you can't define an experience for an individual. So we're, we're lucky in that we don't really deal with the scary kind of data that you'd see from someone like Cambridge Analytica but yeah. it is a you know a thing that we remind ourselves every day to make sure we're using the data that people are putting on the internet um, in the right way. Great so uh, what's next for you guys then in the aviation world? So uh, very excited about the next uh, couple of years with Panasonic and, and sort of helping with the next platform. Uh, we also have got a, uh, a really strategic deal with Gate which we're incredibly excited about. So obviously retail is huge, yeah. you know, wastage, you know, making sure we've got better products in the planes, you know, it's, um, we think is going to you know, be the most exciting part of the next couple of years. Well, that all sounds really exciting, Stephen. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you, Marianne. We'll stay tuned and hopefully hear some more about those developments real soon. I hope so. Take care.